there, I'm Miss Glenfield and I'm the head teacher of Stamford Lee Hope Primary School and I'm making this video today to say to you a very big warm welcome to Stamford Lee Hope Primary School and our community. It's a very exciting time for us as I'm sure it is at home for you that you'll be joining our school from September 2020. Obviously we're in a bit of a funny situation at the moment with the national crisis that we find ourselves in. We've got skeleton staff in school looking after the key worker children and staff are on a rotor basis so we're not all there at the same time. It's really strange because at this time as part of our transition for you into school and for your children we'd normally be inviting you into school in the next couple of weeks to give you lots of information about our school and about your child's transition into our school and to ask you for lots of information so that we can make sure that the transition is as smooth as possible. Obviously we're unable to do that because we can't invite you into school so that's why we're making this video today to share a little bit about our school but once we're back into school we'll invite you in as soon as we can so that we can get to meet you all. Hopefully you will have the chance to come and look around the school and you met myself or some of my other team members that gave you a tour of the school so hopefully you'll already feel quite familiar with us anyway. You can always look on the school website for more information. We also have a Facebook page, a Twitter page, and just recently a YouTube channel, which this video will be on when the link's shared with you, so you can get to know some of the other things that the children have been up to while we've been in this lockdown situation. Hopefully you would have received a letter in the post and a pack um, with information that you need to fill in and send back to us. If you can send it back to us by the 8th of May, that would be really helpful because once we get that information back in, we'll be able to get the children on the system, we'll be able to get your contact details onto the system so that then we can keep you updated as much as we can with our plans going forward. Our transition normally entails us inviting children in, in small groups into school to get to know the setting, to get to know the adults, and really so that you guys can come and meet us as well. Again, we're unable to do that at the moment, which is such a shame because we can't wait to meet you all and to get to know your children. Um, but as soon as we know, once we're back, we'll be able to inform you of any um, information that we've got and how that will work. It might end up looking a little bit different this year for the children, but we are committed to making sure that the, tr the transition is as smooth as possible. Because a real smooth transition into school is really important for the children and for the families and obviously for us in school. We like to get to know the children as much as we can before they start with us. So that will be, as I said, inviting you in to get to know you, inviting the children in to get to know the children. And we'll also be contacting the preschool and nursery providers that your children go to currently so that we can talk to the key workers there so that we can find out um, information about your children. We'll still be doing that part of our induction process over the lockdown because obviously we can do that over the phone and things. So we'll still be getting as much information as we can about the children. Obviously the children will be starting in September, but you as family members will also be joining our community and we really encourage um, good communication between yourselves at home and us in school. It's really important to make sure that you are as kept up to date as possible and that you can support your children at home in whatever way you can because a really good relationship between home and school is the best way that the children can make really good progress and be as settled as possible. So Miss Thomas, our early years lead, will be here as well, just introducing herself, and Miss Copley, my deputy head teacher. So you'll be able to see some of our faces and hopefully um, will be familiar then when you start school. As I said, we hope that we can really meet you and your children very, very soon in person rather than via video. And take care in this national crisis, stay safe, and we hope that we'll be back to school very soon and we can invite you in um, to get to know you. So take care and we'll see you soon. Welcome to Stamford Lee Hope Primary School. My name is Miss Thomas and I'm the Early Years Lead and one of the reception teachers at Stamford Primary. By now you may have already returned your admissions paperwork. If you haven't yet done so, would you please post it or email it to the school. We will be sending the school prospectus to you shortly. As you can imagine, organising visits to the school is a little tricky at the moment. We always hope to arrange visits for you and your child so you can meet the staff and become familiar with the environment. We will contact you regarding this when we know more.
Your child will officially become part of our reception class on Monday the 7th of September, although in the current circumstances this may not be the day they actually start school. We always bring the children into school part-time initially as this helps them with their transition and with their settling into school. We'll inform you of the dates as soon as we can. School uniform is available to buy directly from the school, although we will soon be using other outside providers and we'll send out further information about this when we can. Children in reception do have weekly PE lessons and this is important for their physical development. They will need PE kit for this, consisting of a white t-shirt and blue or black shorts. They will only need plimsolls in the summer term when they go outside for PE. Children are expected to bring their kit in a named PE bag, which is then left in school for the half term. For safety reasons, no jewellery is allowed. Every day the children should bring in their own water bottle and a book bag. The book bags need to fit into their trays, so a school book bag or something of a similar size would be best. Unfortunately, we don't have room to accommodate large bags or rucksacks. The children will need their bags to bring home work they've done, books to read, letters and homework folders. After their part-time induction into school, the children will begin their full-time education. When they start full-time, the doors open at 8.45 and close at 8.55. During this time, we register the children and they choose their option for school dinner, so it's important to be punctual. Children who arrive after the doors are closed have to register at the main office. School finishes at 3. Lunchtime is from 12.10 till 1. Children can choose to bring a packed lunch from home or have a school dinner. All reception children are entitled to free school meals. When children arrive in the morning they can choose from the lunch options and at lunchtime they have a coloured wristband to ensure they get the dinner they have chosen. When the children first stay for lunch, their teachers will be with them to help them to settle into this new routine. You will receive a school dinner menu and calendar, which shows the options available on a three week rotor. Each day there are three meal options to choose from, including vegetarian meals and a salad bar is also available. Before your child starts school, maybe you could encourage them to eat their lunch independently, opening packets and boxes and using cutlery. We do encourage the children to be independent and you can help to develop this by ensuring they can put their coats on, get dressed themselves, take their shoes off, put their bags away. This is all invaluable. Tidying up after themselves is also an important skill. Our outdoor area is an important part of our learning environment and we aim to use it throughout the year. Children have many opportunities to learn outside and they enjoy being in our garden. It is important that children have suitable outdoor clothing, including wellies. We have large containers to keep their wellies in, so please ensure they have their names in them so that they can easily find their boots. We also have an allotment and the children enjoy growing and eating their own vegetables. If anyone is willing to help with the allotment, it would be greatly appreciated. Although this has been said before, it is worth repeating. Please ensure your child's name is on everything. Coats, cardigans, sweatshirts, PE kit and wellies. As you can imagine, school uniform is all similar and easy to muddle or lose. So please ensure everything is labelled. Throughout the year your child is in reception, we are constantly collecting information and making a record of their achievements, progress and their interests. Anything they have done outside of school is also a valuable part of their development and helps us to see the whole child. Any information you can give us regarding their achievements, maybe clubs they go to, certificates they may have or progress you have observed at home would be very valuable. We occasionally send home parents as partner sheets in order to gather more evidence of the achievements as obviously you know your child better than anyone. 
Throughout the year, we also invite parents into meetings and stay and play sessions. Language is a prime area in a child's development, as children need to be able to communicate feelings, needs and ideas in order to develop and relate to others. Reading stories, talking about new words and even developing language in their play is vital. During the first few weeks of school, we undertake a language link assessment on all children. This helps to identify any developmental language delay and put support in place where necessary. Shortly after starting school, the children begin to learn to read and write. We use the Ruth Miskin scheme, Read Write Inc. We will have a meeting in the autumn term in order to explain this scheme to you and to show you ways you can help and support your child at home. Children enjoy this way of learning and it has proved very successful. The School Gateway is our messaging service and is the most convenient way to keep in touch. Through the Gateway you can receive messages, make payments and so on. Please ensure we have your correct contact details. More information on this can be found in your pack. Our school does offer a breakfast club and an after school club. More information about these can be found on the school website. We would normally aim to visit your child in their current setting, but as you can imagine this has not been possible in the current climate. Instead I will be contacting the settings and talking to the staff there in order to get to know more about your child. Please ensure you have informed the school which preschool setting they are currently at. I hope this has been useful and informative. If you do have more questions, please feel free to email and we will get back to you. Please return any completed forms via email as soon as possible. We look forward to meeting you when we can and to your child starting in our school in September. Thank you.